Osseo was also in the state tournament last season in boys basketball after surprising everyone with an undefeated regular season. The Orioles have a core of four strong returners to lead the way. Senior guard Marmar Hughes is quick and strong. Junior Zach Tyson, all-conference pick last winter, is a deadly shooter. The twin brothers John and Matt Bezdecek do a little bit of everything. The team has potential. We are meshing pretty good so far in the first scrimmages we played in. Defense is something we are uh, trying to focus on as a team. And it's really come together and hopefully uh, works out and we start the season strong next Friday. This year our team is pretty fast, same as last year. Defensively we're strong and we can push the ball basically one through five. So we'll be a pretty fast team this year. We may see it Without any superstars that some other top teams around have, the Orioles won their first 30 games last winter, including sweeping Maple Grove and Armstrong and a win at Champlin Park. They finished fourth in the state tournament. They aren't getting a lot of attention in the rankings so far this season either, but still have high goals. Um, I think all of us could agree we want to we want to be sec uh, conference champs and eventually win our section and go back to state, but it's not going to be easy this year. We've got a tough champion team and tough conference for sure. Last year we weren't ranked in any top 20 polls to start the season. This year we might be ranked in the top 15. You know, they might give us a little bit of credit, but our kids like that underdog role and uh, we're, we'll, we'll relish it. Uh, our kids play hard no matter what, if they're ranked top or if they're ranked in the 30th. You know, we're, we're going to play hard regardless. Let's go. The Orioles open the season at the Duluth East Tournament, facing Hermantown Friday and Duluth East Saturday. Their home openers against Park Center next Tuesday.